and into half time, even though it was 13 all, um, felt like we had the momentum. And um, at half time, we spoke about what we needed to do in the second half to uh, to kick on, and we were sort of, um, I guess. We didn't lose it in that first 20, but we got ground down. Just like any big game, there was two or three instances where uh, mistakes cost us, and, and we're, you know, we're playing against a good side. They'll, they'll, they'll make you pay for them, so that's what happened. I thought I'd leave until right until the I mean, guess last five minutes that we could, we could win, we could score tries, and we could beat the Lions, but it just wasn't be. I think we've got a lot more to see of this Lions team yet. I think they might be just uh, building up. I thought it was a good game tonight against against what was a very, very good team. You mustn't underestimate that team. has been in camp for 10 days. You know, that's the Highlanders team in, in all but name. We've had one step up against the Maoris, which I think history will share was a blessing because you know, we deserve to get beat that night, and uh, I think we learned the right lesson. not going to really put out um, any, any of my test players in that, in that Southland game. This is a huge pressure game, and uh, you want to be involved in those fixtures, either player or coach. And that's one of the big things on selection. You've got to make sure you pick players who can really play under pressure. And uh, I think we've got those players in this group group, group of players. And um, that's why it's a great occasion. It'll be a big night and the pressure's going to build. Um, but that's what it's all about.